Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you Non-Entities in the News, a new and daring television feature, a stock documentary of life in America today, on land, on sea, and in the air, a panorama of the faces and voices of the most unimportant people of our time. In the wilds of northern Nebraska, the biggest moose ever shot down by man was shot down by a woman. Mrs. Gertrude Bringham Back Dead Biddlehop has bagged the biggest moose in history. And now we're going to have an interview with this daring, dauntless huntress. And why, well, here she is. Why, Mrs. Biddlehop, what a moose. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where's what? The mouse. No, no, I said moose. Oh, oh, moose. Oh. Yeah. He's rather attractive, isn't he? Well, I understand you bagged him. Oh, yes, it's, what's his name? Oh, he just doesn't... attractive. Just attractive, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I understand you bagged him all by yourself, and I want you to tell us all about it. Well, it is a rather interesting story. Do you mind holding him terribly? Of course not. One morning, I got up quite early. I went out to the river, got into my canoe, and started to paddle. Moon, dear, ha <laughs> Then I saw him, him naturally, standing on top of a hill. So I got out of the canoe and started crawling up the hill very slowly, inch by inch, inch by inch. Finally, I reached the top. There he was, not 20 yards away. So I reached for my gun. Then I realized something was wrong. I didn't have my gun. <laughs> so I got down the hill, got into my canoe, and paddled away. Moon to here, ha ho. I got to my cabin, I got my gun, turned my canoe around. Moon to here, ha ho. There he was, standing on, up on top of the hill. He hadn't moved a bloody muscle. So I started crawling up the hill, inch by inch, inch by inch. Finally, I reached the top. There we were, face to face. The chase was on. I started running, naturally. <laughs> then I decided this wasn't sportsmanship, so I turned around, took careful aim, and bagged him. And uh, now that it's all over, Mrs. Biddlehop, how do you feel about it now? Well, I feel this way. It was either him or me. The woods certainly wasn't big enough for both of us. Uh, could you give us a demonstration of your marksmanship? I'd adore to. Fine. In marksmanship, you must be very careful to have a very good stance. Take careful aim at the animal and squeeze the trigger slowly. There you are. <laughs> Thank you, Imogene Coker. Now, non-entities in the news has a rare treat for you. An expedition to wildest Africa has found a boy living in the jungle who was raised by animals. This boy is here. We want to ask him some questions. We want you to meet Gong Gong. <laughs> Gong Gong, you have been in our American civilization for some time now. Uh, tell us, what do you think of our civilized food? Food? I get a food and I know my leg and I carry a knife and a fork and I know a knife and a fork and carry my eye. I say, what the hell? I say, I'm going to miss the face. Take a piece of meat, let me down. I say, I'm going to miss the face. No good. Gogong, do you have any comments to make about our, uh, our traffic system, our traffic? Oh, can I just put in a, in a walk across the street and in an ooga ooga, he's not knocking on anything, he's in my night, banging the head, I can't see that. He went, I went off with him, he's easy on the I say, yo, yeah, no good. I'd, I'd like to know if you have any thoughts about our, our housing, our housing. Housing. Oh, house. <coughs> house in a walk in who got like this, yeah, in a room like this why you can stand and like nobody there. You can have bed, no bed, you gotta stand up, sleep, you go down in a no good. <laughs> Gong Gong, I have one more question for you. What what do you think of our women? Women? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sid Caesar. <laughs>